Aviation practitioners in Nigeria have continued to support appeal to the federal government to support the sector and it from collapse and ensure it remains the catalyst for economic development in the country. The call comes, uh, uh, calls are coming rather, as the operators re-strategize to revive the sector after the damage of COVID-19, which has caused to the industry. Leland Ezemark reports. Deadly coronavirus breaks out in Wuhan, China. Aviation conversita cross borders. Death rate rises globally, making it a pandemic then a public health crisis, generating fear to force countries to shut their airspaces. spaces. Routes are suspended, aircraft grounded, and even legacy airlines are shaken. You have staff you have to pay, you have rent you have to pay, you have taxes you have to pay, you have obligations you must pay, you have contractual agreements you must pay, you have agreed with hotels and paid off front, fuel you paid off front, you hedged, and suddenly there are no passengers. Economies are in shambles, ground handlers are badly hit, Cargo incurs demurrage, and civil aviation is thrown into an uncharted territory. Cabin crew be redundant, pilots will have no plans to fly, they will stay at home, and that's what that means, that when they come back, maybe the next two, three months, they have to probably go for retraining or something like that. You know? If you were a Quechua, if you were, if you were making um, maybe rice or burger or whatever for an island that flies to China, now we don't make that anymore. It's a natural calamity. It's just like a disaster, you know. Uh, anytime this kind of thing happens, some countries that mean well for their economy usually support their airlines. It, you know, it happened in the U.S. in 2008 when the Obama administration had to help airlines and even the auto industry. Both aeronautical and non-aeronautical revenue sources dry up as Nigerian Ministry of Aviation becomes afraid of the future of the industry. You have not flown, so I've lost it. I cannot regain it. I cannot sell it tomorrow. The one I sell is tomorrow is meant for tomorrow. And there's no way I can come back up with it. So this is the situation of civil aviation. It's really a pathetic one. Um, we're all crying. And I can guarantee you several airlines are not going to come out of this, unfortunately. Many airlines are cash trapped or at the brink of bankruptcy, meaning it will be difficult for the airlines to start operation post COVID-19 without assistance. This airline operator paints a grim picture of how aviation business might be post COVID-19. The cost, it's, it's, it's really um, difficult to put figures to it. But then, post COVID, I, I think government should come um, to the rescue of the airlines. Um, if government does not do that, I'm afraid some airlines will have to fold up. And you will understand it's natural if you are struggling to survive and then something terribly came and there's no help from anywhere, and you are saying bye-bye to that uh, airline. Despite the hardship, his airline reached out with stimuli packages to communities around the Lagos airport. This is just a token um, to the community from where we operate to cushion the effects of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Um, we'll try to do that to other communities close to us. And um, we just hope that uh, we are able to meet the needs of the common people amongst us. This will be the first time we are having an organization coming to the ACE area and not only just coming, but bringing us some things to appreciate us. According to International Air Transport Association, disruptions from COVID-19 include 853,000 loss in passenger volumes and $170 million loss in revenue base in Nigeria. This could result in 22,000 job cuts, and this aviation analyst could not agree less. Don't forget that this place don't fly empty. They fly with passengers. Passengers who are going for tourism, business, which means if, you, if your country ends from tourism sector, it is going down. If your country, if your country ends from business, it's going down. International Air Transport Association also estimates that emergency aid of up to $200 billion is required to take the airlines out of the woods. Cost-cutting measures to mitigate impacts of COVID-19 on airlines include loans by government to the airlines, tax rebates, 
temporary waivers of taxes and other imposed levies. While aviation still hovers in turbulent skies and trying to navigate safely through COVID-19 headwinds, airworthiness and health protocol issues remain unsolved. Lillian Ezemark, TVC News, Lagos.